are you guys? This is Tommy Bass and welcome back to my channel. I am a huge fan of Japanese beer series and year 2024 is giving us so many amazing Japanese beers that I'm speechless. So today in this video we are going to look at Japanese beer series released so far this year. If I missed any series then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video please like subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys more so let's get started. Love in the air When clouds in the sky and falling rain tease the two close friends in trouble, Rei and Kai, it takes them to meet Arashi and Fuma, who are not only cunning saviors but also guys making storm in the two best friends' hearts. The war of love is about to take place in the warm spring, hot summer, lonely autumn and cold winter. How would the atmosphere of love be? Which way would their heart wave and air full of love take them to? So I get to watch my guilty pleasure in another language, got to see what they can offer. I am overly excited for this remake. The series is not out yet, but the cast is spoiling and teasing the viewers with their videos. I am actually so excited for this one, so I will definitely be tuning in for this one. Perfect Propose Dream Edition the original Perfect Proposal is a popular beer series. The story depicts the thrilling cohabitation life of two protagonists, Hiro Kuni who is pressured by his abusive boss at work and he stays unable to sleep, and a cool younger man with excellent housekeeping skills soothes his tired mind with the delicious meals. The movie Perfect Proposal Dream Edition is a re-edited version of the drama Perfect Proposal. It has been announced to be released in theatres in Japan from October 25th. I imagine there will be a little wait after that for streaming unfortunately. Love is like a poison Shiba Ryuma, a genius lawyer, cleared the bar exam with the highest score while attending university and became the youngest co-partner at a major law firm. He is valued as a legal advisor to numerous major clients. One day, Shiba meets Haruto, a mysterious genius con artist, at a bar. Haruto invites Shiba, who is looking for a capable work partner. Buying Haruto's talent, Shiba decides to keep Haruto in his home. A life together with his secret partner begins. Shiba, who is new to romance, is gradually poisoned by Haruto, who is very sweet and devoted to his owner, no matter what danger he encounters. Two people who are complete opposites become secret partners and solve troubles in a thrilling way. As someone with no experience in love, Shiba is frustrated by his inability to express feelings he gradually develops for Haruto. Eventually, the two will come face to face with great evil. The Boyfriend over the course of a month, a group of men live under one roof and run a coffee truck together to connect and hopefully meet their one true boyfriend. Nine boys living together in a beach house near the sea, what will happen? This is my favorite reality dating series ever. Outside of being a dating show, it shows people come together that have faced the same struggles and being able to understand each other's experiences. A month is a much better amount of time and they implement a better way of gauging who likes who. Also the idea of truck and sales was interesting and nice to watch because they built connection while also earning for themselves. I liked it a lot. Happy of the end Disowned by his family, hungry and penniless, Kashiwagi Chihiro meets Kito, a guy he likes at his favorite bar one night and falls in love at first sight. Delighted with positive reaction, Chihiro heads to a hotel with him. However, as they embrace, Kito suddenly hits Chihiro hard with a vibrator, causing him to lose consciousness. The next morning, Chihiro wakes up in a garbage dump and finds out that Kito has been searching for something. When Kito realizes that Chihiro does not have what he's looking for, he tells him to get lost and tries to leave. Desperate and with no home to return to, Chihiro clings to Kito, saying let me be with you, and they end up staying together. The fate of these two lonely men begins to unfold. Sun
Some love begins with mistaken identity. The story revolves around a love story that start from mistaken identity. This is a story about Usa's character being tasked to pretend to be his twin and break up with his twin's boyfriend. The good-natured and clumsy Mizumura Kai can't seem to do anything right. Burdened by debt, he eventually gets kicked out of his home one day. Just then, he gets a call from his twin brother who is on a business trip abroad. I will let you stay at my place and I will even pay off all your debts. But in return, when he enters his brother's house, a mysterious man named Yukita Chaiki shows up, hugs him and kisses him. It turns out that this man is actually his brother's lover. This BL short drama is a slapstick romantic comedy. It is available to stream on Bump app. Each episode is 1 to 3 minute long, a perfect little drama. I got to watch it in Rama Otaku where a kind soul edited all the episodes seamlessly together making it into a 1 hour movie and another one subbed it skillfully. This drama is a masterpiece produced probably on a low budget but the writing and the acting are top notch so the flaws are minor. It is a lovely uplifting short watch so if you need something toxic free to cheer you up this is a perfect solution. Cosmetic Play Lover Beauty consultant Natsume Mamiya is forced to work as a pair with Touma Sahashi, his junior. On top of everything, Touma, who has no respect for his work or for Natsume, has usurped his throne as the top seller. One day, Touma finds out Natsume is gay and uses this as his advantage in a power play, coercing Natsume to become his friend with benefits. The characters have a decent charm to them that keeps you interested. To be honest, there's little depth to the story or characters, but enough to keep you watching all the way through. The actors are cute and don't overact much, and the production quality is good. But something didn't quite work for me. Still, I'd love to see the actors in a new series. I fell in love with someone of same sex. Naoki and Takuya have been best friends throughout high school but for the past 3 years Naoki has secretly harbored deeper feelings for Takuya after graduation with Takuya about to move to Tokyo for college Naoki finally musters the courage to confess his love 6 months later their path crosses again how will their reunion unfold This is a Japanese short film, a classic story of friend to lovers with the usual tropes of secret crush, jealous girlfriend and love triangle. The production looks rather low budget, the editing is choppy and the sound is bad, but the acting is nice. The actors have great chemistry and they work well together. The film is actually really nice and I wish it was longer. Not a single moment was wasted. The whole story is told in very short but very important scenes from their lives. I loved it. Mr. Mitsuo's planned feeding. Tomoya Ishida is a newbie editor at the fashion magazine Sophia Monthly. After his senior sudden hospitalization, he's hastily assigned to collect a column manuscript from the famous culinary researcher Ayumu Mitsuo. He pays him a visit soon after and, to his surprise, finds an affable older man who speaks in a Kyoto dialect. Being asked to wait, Tomoya is served a simple dish that entices his stomach, and soon he finds himself eagerly awaiting their next encounter. Japan does it again with an unconventional story. While with the concept of age gap, some people may turn away, but it shows that love can happen regardless of age and gender. They come closer over food, where the younger character is an energized editor and the older character is an experienced chef. Actors did an amazing job in portraying their characters. This series proved that the way into a man's heart is through his stomach. Your tie is crooked. Roku becomes an interpreter so that he can one day meet his ex-boyfriend again if he ever visits Japan that day is approaching
Gorth and Tele made their comeback in Thai Japanese short BL. The short film pays a kind of tribute to the culture of the two countries since the story revolves around an actor and the translator of a Thai Japanese languages who separated after having had a romance because each one took a different path to build their future. And now 6 year later for work reason they meet again in Japan and as they are still in love they have the opportunity to continue their love relationship. Perth and Tele are amazing actors and their chemistry is undeniable. You guys should check it out. The drama consists of 3 parts which are all available to stream on X previously called Twitter. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.